Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pavitra, Fertility Specialist at Garbhaguri IVF Center, Kalyan Nagar. So today I would like to talk to you about a very simple test which we do in a fertility workup. What are the tests which we do in fertility workup? So first thing is to know whether the ovaries are normal. In that we basically we do a scan to see how the size, the volume and the shape of the ovary is and we count the number of follicles and whether there is ovulation happening. So this we can get to through, get to know through the scan. Second thing would be to do a tube test. Tube test meaning to just know whether there is any blockage in the tube so that for a normal pregnancy tubes are very important. Then thirdly, we have to see whether semen, that is the semen analysis where the firms count the motility, morphology, everything is normal. Today, I would like to talk to you about that simple procedure that is the fallopian tube test, which is which we call as HSG. So what is this HSG? Hysterosalpingogram. So hystero means uterus, salpingo means fallopian tube and gram means study. So the study of the fallopian tubes and the uterus. So how do we do this test? Basically, we ask the patient to come on the second day of the period, see do a normal scan, see if there is any follicle, any cyst and followed by which day of uh, five days for the bleeding and another two days. So basically day seven or day eight, we will ask the uh, test to be done, that is the HSG. So when we do this test, what all uh, are the prerequisites is that mainly we want the period. Why? Because sometimes we do not know if there is any pregnancy, we do not want to disturb it. So that's the reason we do it after the period. So second thing would be how do we do this test? Basically, the uterus, there is the cervix that is the mouth of the uterus. So there we fix a cannula. So through that cannula, we push a dye and basically this dye has to uh, fill in the uterus and the tubes and spill out of the tubes. If everything is normal, the uterine contour we can make out if there is any filling defect, if there is any uh, like uh, abnormality in the form of any anomalies or uh, like for example any uh, septum or if it's not going into the tubes, any blockage, coronal block, whether it is a proximal block, distal block, all these things we'll be able to know. So apart from that, we can also come to some kind of diagnosis if there is any other history, like if there is any TB or any those kind of history, that time uh, the tube pattern itself will be able to tell whether it is a long-standing disease. So apart from that, this is basically a very indirect method. So advantage would be that it is simple, it's an office procedure, does not take much time. It uh, It's basically done and uh, then once it's done, uh, there will be some amount of discomfort. But again, you can get back to your routine activities. So what are the disadvantages? Basically, it's not a direct method. We don't see the spill happening. So only with the help of the film. So when the dye is passed through into the uterus and the tubes, that time an X-ray film is basically uh, taken and that film is what we see for the diagnosis. Uh, so apart from that, the disadvantage would be that if we need to confirm these diagnoses, it uh, has to be done through a direct method that is laparoscopy. So apart from that, again, uh, the tubal defects, sometimes it can be false positive. That is, if there is any spasm, if the HSG is not done correctly, because of the pain, the tubal uh, openings can close by itself through the, that is in the uterus. So because of that, it, it can look like a tubal block that is a bilateral tubal blockage so these could be the disadvantages but most of the time it is a very simple test and it is one of the very common tests which we do to as a basic workup for infertility thank you